Hello, Vettel121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Battle of Olympus. And as you can see, we're in Laconia right now, and I want to ride my dolphin from Laconia to our next destination. And, uh, yeah. I think we gotta call our dolphin again over here. Yep, past the uh, siren location. Yes, we end up in Crete. Now, we can actually come to Crete from the Argolis side, too, but you don't want to go that way. We actually come to it from this direction. And this Blue Knight guy, I think, will die if we stab him in the, in the knees or something. Okay, yeah, he's pretty easy, actually. If he even wants to come near us, so I'm just gonna get... Not even bother fighting him. Alright, so yeah, we want to avoid these enemies. I just want to go ahead and take one screen to the left. Wow, there's Slimer running around. Another screen to the left. There's a fountain or whatever we can use to refill our life. And I do believe it is... Get out of my way, you stupid bastards. Two screens this way. And... Damn it. Get up on the ceiling. Thank you. I do believe we want to go this way. Avoid the slimers and other crap. Get out of my way, you fucking... God. Yeah, and make sure you have 80 olives before you come this way, too. Jeez, get out of my way, you stupid enemies. Crap, man. Anyways, this is Ares. And, uh... Zeus asked me to let you use this bracelet. And, uh, whatever you do, if you do not have 80 olives, do not say yes to this guy, because he will take away your sandals. I don't ask how, or I don't even know how you get the sandals back. I think you don't even have the chance to get them back, uh, if you say yes, when you don't have 80 olives. I have 80 olives, so I'm gonna go ahead and pay him the 80 olives. And he gives us the power bracelet, and now when we use our lightning bolt attack, it no longer takes life. And our attacks will do double the damage that they did before. So yeah, that's extremely useful. Definitely wanted to get this item. That's the fastest way to get this item. Uh, is to come here from the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, whatever route it was. From the, uh, from Laconia. I might as well go back in here, and I'm going to fill up and be right back. Alright, I actually backtracked to Thea because there's something in Thea that I forgot to get. As mon monkeys pounce on me. And yeah, I can't believe I forgot to get this. Um, it would have helped me, but oh well, I did it without. So, no big loss, but I want to get it now, for sure. Fuck you, monkey. I don't care about the damage, as long as he's not knocking me off the stairs and shit, into pits. But yeah, we want to jump up this way, I actually had bypassed it earlier. And yeah, we want to jump down here and talk to this guy. Eat this, it'll give you strength. Yeah, and this guy will give us Ambrosia. So there's only one more to find in the entire game. So what I'm going to do is backtrack out of here, and save up 80 more olives, and meet you back at Crete. Alright, back in Crete, uh, yeah, if we go this way, that's pretty much the entrance from Laconia. Now, I think we want to walk two spaces, or two doors, I should say, <coughs> to the left. And go through here. Now, we want to also walk two doors from the left. And go in here. And from in here, we should be able to find, uh, something, I think. I think we're supposed to go in here. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe it's the first door. Ow. Ow. Oh, wow, okay. You say you want a salamander skin shield? I see you've gathered 20 salamander skins. Good, I can make it for you in ex Yeah, so not only do we have to give this bitch 20 salamander skins, but we have to give her 80 olives, so yeah. That's why I saved up another 80 olives. So yay, now we have a shield, but you'll have to wait. Here, take this. Oh, okay, well, I guess we didn't have to wait very long, but yeah, now we have the, uh, Salamander shield. 
So now this shield will protect us against fire attacks. So that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I just want to actually make it back to the fountain if I can. If I have to, I'll use my flask. And, uh... Yeah. Over here, okay, yeah, that takes us back to the beginning. So, jump down. One screen over, miss that guy. I don't know if I'm necessarily doing this the right way, but okay, yeah, here's the fountain. So, I'll be right back again. Alright, now, from the waterfall room, you want to go past the first door. And we want to enter in the second door here. And from here, we want to skip the next door. And hopefully avoid these stupid Valkyrie Knights. Go in the second door again. Go run one screen to the left and go through the first door we see. And in this room is the room we want to, uh, to face the uh, thing we're going to be facing. And I'm going to get my flask out. Come on, these stupid Slimer guys are kicking my ass. Alright, now... Yeah, we're gonna be taking on a boss. This is the Minotaur, and he's pretty tough. So, uh... Basically, my strategy is gonna be to back him into a corner. If I can here. And just... And just, uh, stab the crap out of him in the knees or the legs or whatever. And yeah, he dies. Alright, very nice. And we're gonna talk to the final nymph. And yeah, she can lead us to Tartarus. Through the power of the miracle of love. You've completed your trials well, Vet. The door to the land where Hades lives, along the sea between Crete and Argolis, has been opened. Aphrodite has sent the nymphs to Tartarus to help you. Please rescue me before it's too late. So yeah, our business is concluded. We have all three hearts. Uh, I, can't, I hope the last item I don't have to purchase because I'm sick of collecting olives. And uh, wait a minute. Did I load a crappy save state? I might have loaded a crappy save state. Well, regardless, I'll just go back to where that witch hag was and buy the salamander shield again. And then we'll be heading somewhere else. Alright, we're about to go to a very dangerous place. And yeah, we uh, used the dolphin there from Attica. Now we're going to go to Rigia or Rigia or... I think the PH is silent for this place, but... Yeah, whatever. This place is pretty dangerous and... <laughs> to me, kind of has like a Castlevania vibe to it. Yeah, here's a dark unicorn that I'm gonna skip. And there are pretty dangerous enemies in this area. I'm gonna skip that door. I'm gonna skip going up the stairs. There are flying gargoyles that are annoying as hell in this area. But, yeah, it's not really the uh, extent of our worries, at least yet. Uh, yeah, we got salamanders to take out. Giant salamanders that breathe fire. So yeah, I gotta deal with them. I don't know why my picture was glitching out there. If you didn't see it, then, uh... Then I, uh... Then I don't know what to say then. Damn it. I hate these snakes. Alright, yeah, after we take care of him... We can come up here and skip that guy. Try to avoid the gargoyle or kill him. And now that we're here, we got more gargoyles. Jesus, man, they're fucking everywhere. Holy crap, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be spamming that thunderbolt attack as much as I can. Alright. Now, if you go in this door right here, and go down this way, this is kind of out of the way, but it's pretty easy to get to. That snake will commit suicide if you 
you wait long enough, and you can come up here. As you can see, it's a dead end, and we can get a life restoration, or if you um, need your flask restored as well, you can also come here for that. It's pretty automatic. Yeah, he'll commit suicide, he will also commit suicide, and now we're back where we started. So, we want to head up this way, try not to get hit by the gargoyle, I guess. Well, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, we're in another room with a salamander. Now, these typically take about four hits with a power bracelet. And, uh, for some reason I'm not blocking his fire, which is really annoying in this game. The shield doesn't really work how it's supposed to. It's like the, uh, the hit detection is screwed up. But, whatever. And I'll be right back. Alright, I had to take a little pause break there to find out what to do next, or, well, I actually, I just needed to take a piss, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, try to avoid those guys. This part right here can be dangerous, so be careful. What you want to do is you want to inch towards the edge to get that gargoyle to appear, and then jump across. And then do the same there, and we want to head down. And... Yeah, take care of those assholes if you can. And uh, I think we want to go up first. Ow. And in this room right here, we can talk to this old witch. And she will give us Ambrosia. Yay! Very nice. Now our life energy is maxed out. Alright, from here we want to uh, go down the stairs, try to avoid getting hit by the snakes, if you can. Jeez. Why can't I hit these bastards? Come on, come on, jump, jump. You know what, fuck it. It's not gonna matter anyways. Yeah, we want to come over here, go down these stairs, and uh shoot the freaking thing in the head if we can. Quit going up the stairs. God, why do they gotta put this shit right by the stairs? It's like the game designers did that deliberately. Ugh. God, what a pain in the ass. Alright, now you're probably thinking to yourself, go through the door, right? Nope, skip the door. Leads to a dead end. Do not go through the door. And yeah, I guess I'll skip the snake. I'm gonna go through this door. Uh, no, 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 do not. Look, look like my character is gonna fall off there. Um, if we stay on the stairs, as long as I can kill those gargoyles, we should be good. And uh, here's the final, like the stairs, and we are here. And. This is Artemis, the goddess of the moon. And okay, Hades uses a magic hat. But uh, we can nullify his magic hat if we use this moon crystal. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to do here in Regia or Rygia or whatever it's called. So that is all for this episode of Let's Play the Battle of Olympus. In the next episode, we will head to Tartarus because that's the final area of the game. And uh, it should be the finale episode. And yeah, the fastest way to get out of here is you just die and then you just end up here. And then you can go back to Attica. So there you go. This is Vital121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.